Hello there! So, the brand new Dragon Boat Bash event has just begun in DML like literally two minutes ago. So we are going to be jumping straight into it and I'll be going through how this event works, what's happening, the prizes, like we normally do with events. So this is going to be lasting four days, you can see the event timer there with the first prize being the Gondola Dragon. So let us go in. So hello trainer, I see you've come to try out my newest invention, the Dragon's Delight. And so then, they've kind of changed up some of the pictures here, which is kind of weird. So we'll click this here. Look, one of your dragons wants to play too! Dragon drop items in the Dragon's Delight to help your dragon play. So you can see we've got Andy here, and he's asking for some uh, a cigarette packet, some dumplings, and a jade dragon. Uh, I don't know, chess piece, or something like that. Shogi piece. <laughs> and that's what I've called them for now anyway. But helping your dragon will boost your delight score, get the highest delight score to win first prize. You can refill the dragon's delight prizes by using Lampions. First round's on me. So we'll fill all of these for free like he said, and this will generate random items that we can give to our dragons. So this is exactly the same as previous dragon's delight events so far. Whenever you finish giving a dragon three items, they'll become a happy dragon and that'll give us points towards the event. So here we've got a bunch of different dragons asking for different stuff and so what we'll do is we'll give this one to him and we'll give two dumplings and then that will make our comet dragon happy and we'll get a bonus point. And so from this point onwards it's 120 lampions to refill a tube. And you can see that by default we're given 1200 lampions to start off the event uh, but We'll just keep going until we run out of items that we can use, basically. So we will go give this one here, give him that. And then we'll give these two coins up to our lantern dragon here. And then... Oh, he's asking for some lanterns. Good, good. So we can do that one. And we'll just keep refilling and refilling, spending as much as we can. And you'll get the idea. And here, rather than spending the middle coin, I'd rather spend the coin on the left so that we can get a new tube to refill. And it is literally as simple as that. It is a kind of like almost slot machine style game in a sense. Kind of, kind of not. It's kind of weird in the way that it operates. But you'll see here that we are going to get stuck after we give this away here. Because we can give this one as well, but then we can't give any more. So you can trash all items to get rid of them for free. You'll then need to refill columns by using Lampion to keep trying. You can also send away your dragons after the dragon is gone. You must wait an hour before the next dragon appears. And so I would suggest never ever using the trash all button because the items that you get you have to pay Lampions for. So if you're going to do anything I would definitely suggest re-rolling dragons instead. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to use my gems to speed this up so you can see that now it's changed to a different set of items here. But this is still not the items we want, so I'm going to do it again. Please, be kind. <laughs> there we go. It was. It was indeed kind to us here. Uh, so, I am just going to give this... It doesn't really matter which dragon I give this to, actually. So we'll just give it to one of them. And there we go. We can now give that to our tiger dragon which is great. So the the refilling and the refreshing of the dragons is really, really important to get your head around if you want to do well in these events. But it does come down to luck a lot of the time as well, which you need to be aware of. A lot of the items that are dropping do come down to luck. Like, we haven't been given any of these cigarette packets so far. Or not very frequently. So let's hope that the next one we just get three cigarette packets drop. Well, we got one of them. That's good enough. So we'll feed that, give that to him. We'll see what we need for this next one. A uh, coin, so that is good. We'll give that to him. Another coin and a cigarette packet, so we can't finish that one off. Refill. You know, hopefully me doing this gives you an idea of what to expect, sort of thing. And so now we are stuck... And we don't have many more Lampions. I'm tempted to trash, but I am not going to. What we'll do is we'll refresh this guy. Because he has two of the same item. And there we go. Now we can get rid of our dumplings. So we'll do that. We'll feed him. 
give a lantern to our helper dragon and we got some divine tickets as a reward for hitting a certain milestone and now we have lanterns we have dumplings so we could just do this with the hypoestes dragon on the left and it doesn't really matter what we do here so i guess we will uh, we'll give this to this guy up here, and this is where we'll leave it for now, because we've run out of Lampion points. And so, in this event, like I said, the gondola is the leaderboard prize, which means that you are competing against other real-life people if you want to try and win the gondola dragon. So, normally, this does come down to a little bit of spending, honestly, because, I mean, if you're competing against other people, if they spend more gems to refresh and stuff like that, they're obviously going to get ahead in the leaderboard, but, you know, at the end of the day, you can still try as hard as you can. You might get put in a really easy bracket if you're lucky, so just keep doing it as much as you can. And instead of us getting a reward for hitting 130 points this time around, instead... We've actually just got divine tickets as rewards for the entire event. So some people might not like that. I kind of don't like that. I prefer at least getting one dragon guaranteed out of these events. I mean, you could say that, yeah, well, it's guaranteeing that you're going to get a chest dragon, but we already know that that's not true because of how the divine chests work. But more or less... You'll just be building up points to either win the gondola or just to get some divine tickets is how this event's going to operate. But the last thing I haven't touched on yet, as we should obviously mention, is how we get more Lampions. And you'll see at the bottom of the event, it shows us exactly how to do that. So we've got collect gold, collect food, breeding dragons, feeding dragons, winning battles, and catching creatures. So if you participated in the Divine New Year Castle event for the Tai Zenrin and Nezha dragons... This works exactly the same as that. It is pretty much just a, uh, you know, they take the quest from that and they pop it into this event here. So you'll see if we go ahead and collect gold, we'll collect all that. That will give us the 200 Lampions for this. We'll pop this new baby dragon into this habitat so that we can feed him up. And then that will give us points for feeding dragons. And... As always, I would suggest using baby fire dragons to do this because you can get them at level 1 and then you don't have to spend a lot of food leveling them up. So you don't have to worry about spending food really on this event either. And then breeding, we'll try and rebreed for the fairy. We failed this time, but that's too bad, you know. It, that's how the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. And then we have... More for a collect food that I can't do quite yet, but then we have catch creatures and winning battles left to do. So we will go and, uh, well, you know, I could just use my auto battle tickets to do this. Well, really, I should be looking at my heroic mode fights first, because if you have auto battle tickets and you have heroic mode fights available, use them on those, because then you don't have to waste two energy on them every time. But getting 200 points doesn't take very long at all. So skip, skip, skippity scoo. We'll come back to normal mode now. And we'll find some more blue quests. Come on, you must be somewhere. It's because I've been doing so many in a row every day, so now they're not spawning as frequently, which is kind of annoying. But there we go, that should be the last fight that we need to do. Yeah, yeah, close it. I don't care about that event. We're in the middle of the dragon's delight, thanks. So now we'll reopen. Oh, there's two more actually. Whoops, I didn't see the pop-up. Whatever, let's just quickly go through. Do these two. And now we've got all the points that we can possibly get for now until the creatures start spawning. And now we have another 800 Lampions. So now we can go straight back into it and start trying to feed these dragons again. So there we go, we've got two dragons there done. We'll refill this middle one. Uh... Okay, how do we want to do this? I hate the dragons that ask for triple items. We are just going to refresh that right now. Again, I'm not going to be refreshing with gems after this video because it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm just doing it for the sake of, you know, continuing the pace. And now we should probably pop the, the, the coin in. Although we could also just straight finish this dragon. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to think about how to do this the best way possible. 
So what we'll do is we'll do this. And yeah, we'll do that. We'll feed him. Well, I say feed, but you know, it's happy dragons. They're basically just playing with toys or... I guess they would eat the dumplings and that from this event, though. I don't know. It's kind of weird that they're called happy dragons. I guess just feeding them, giving them lanterns makes them happy for some reason. Maybe they're really into the culture. I don't know. It's up to them. It's up to what these dragons want to do, to be honest with you. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll give him dumplings. Give him the cigarette packet, as I keep calling it. I know it's not a cigarette packet. Come on. I know that already. <laughs> Just messing with your head. And then, what do we got left? This is our last reset that we can do for right now. So, um... Yeah, it looks like we can't actually finish this one off, but we can get a dragon close at the very least. So the way that we'll do it is we'll do it like this. We'll do it like this for now. So that will be fine for us. We will wait to refill this middle tube to see what we want to do with the other items because obviously we can give the lantern to him we can give the lantern to the castle dragon but we'll just wait to see what other items we get in the next reset or when we get enough but that is more or less how you do it and look it says i'm in position one right now don't take that to mean very much because trust me after four days, the points are probably going to skyrocket, especially considering that some of these people are very high levels of VIP like me. And some of them are very high level players as well. So if they don't have the gondola, they are going to be willing to probably spend quite a bit on gem refreshes and stuff like that. And plus, my luck is normally really, really terrible, just in general, when it comes to events. So... Normally, my luck with the feeding of happy dragons is pretty bad. Normally. Not always. Not always. I'll give you that, but a lot of the time it normally ends up being pretty bad. But, you know, if you're still confused, there is a help button in the top left of the event that explains exactly how the event works. If you're stuck, it tells you how to progress. Leaderboard and rewards. Win big at the dragons that like to earn special dragon pieces and climb to the top of the leaderboard to conquer the event. That's actually not true for this event. That's actually not true at all for this one. <laughs> let's, let's forget that I didn't see that, but I would really want to get the gondola, trust me. But I know better than to expect a lot out of these events. If anything, I'm probably going to have a much better time on my Android account. So I will be trying to progress in the event on both of my accounts depends on how much time I have and you know how lazy I am I guess at the end of the day but it's at, lo at least worth participating because you do get those divine tickets from it and obviously the more divine tickets you get the more likely you're going to be to get some dragons out of the new divine chest so you know very best of luck to you and I hope that for anyone that was confused about how the event operates Again, I do videos like this every time, but I hope that that made sense or you can at least sort of gather how to progress in the event from, you know, how I did it. So, you know, like I said, good luck. You're going to need it. And, um, you know, I hope that your bracket's easy for you so you can get a hold of the, the Gondola Dragon as well. But, for now, I am going to skedaddle. So, thanks for watching and until next time. I'll see you then.